Psalm 92, verse 14. They shall bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. And this follows up from uh, verse 13 that talks about those who are planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish. And here it says that they will bear fruit in old age and they shall be fresh and flourishing. That simply means when we are hooked up to the Lord, we are planted in him, we are settled in him, he makes us fruitful and there's no expiry date to our fruitfulness. God helps us to useful, to be fruitful, to be impactful, to make a difference no matter what age we are in. Because old age can sometimes uh, keep people from expressing the gifts that God has given to them. Uh, as people grow older, uh, they, they tend to think that maybe their time is past, that they, they no longer have what it takes to, to make an impact. Uh, when I was younger, I used to think that 40 was, was very old until I got to 40. And then I used to think 50 was old until I got to 50, or 60 was old until I got there. And so now when I hear that somebody is 85, I say, oh, that, that's a young age. I hear somebody's 88, I say, oh, well, he still has a few more years to go. Because old age changes uh, as you grow older. God wants you to be productive even when you are advancing in age. There's no expiry date to you. And the, the word of God keeps us fresh because the word of God gives us new perspectives, uh, gives us new ideas, uh, and, and the Holy Spirit refreshes our spirit. So those who are planted in the Lord bear fruit in their old age. And so I just want to encourage you, age will not limit you. Age will not cash out your ability and your expression. You're not going to grow and look at younger people and say, oh, this is just for young people. No, you have to keep yourself young. And especially for those of you uh, who probably are a little uh, older and have been retired from where you work, uh, just understand it's just your work place that has retired you, but God has not retired you. And you must not retire yourself. And you must not say that there is no use for you. If you are in your 60s, you are in the best years of your life. You're in your 70s. What better year to be than 70? Because you have so much experience. And if you've walked with God for much of that time, if you knew the Lord when you were younger and you were 70, then you have so much experience with God. And God can use you to do so much. So those who are planted in the Lord shall flourish and they shall bear fruit in their old age. May the Lord cause you to bear fruit in your old age. And apart from that, in every area of our lives, God can make us fruitful. Remember, in the Bible, Moses started his ministry at 80 years of age. And, and Abraham had Isaac at 99 years. There are many people who started very late and still accomplished so much. So God can still cause you to be fruitful in your old age. Sarah had Isaac at a very old age. Elizabeth had John the Baptist at a very old age. God has a way of picking people that everybody has given up on and using them to do things that are amazing and miraculous, and that is why he's a miracle-working God. May God give you a testimony in your old age. As you grow older, may the Lord renew your strength. May the Lord make you fruitful. May the Lord make you impactful in all that you do. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall bear fruit in their old age. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, keep me fresh, and resourceful. Help me to continue being productive all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Time will not shut you out. God still has a lot to do with your life. And Pastor Mensah Otabel, shalom, peace, and life to you.